What's up YouTube? In this episode, I am talking about content marketing trends in 2021. I'm going to go through what's happening in the content making, content development world, how people are making videos, photos, what's going on, what are the trends that are going to help you get an extended reach with your content in 2021. Let's start right now. Hey guys, my name is Jared Vandermeer and I make digital marketing and content creation tip videos right here on YouTube. And in this episode, which is a great episode for influencers, content creators, marketers, entrepreneurs, small businesses, I'm talking about the trends for content making in 2021. I'm going to go through five tips today talking about what's getting extend organic reaches on platforms as well as what equipment's really taking off, why people are doing certain videos, and what you guys need to focus on when you're making content. All right, let's get going right now. Tip number one. In 2021, short form videos are gaining a younger audience. That's what the younger audience is looking for. And for your social media presence, you need to look at implementing at least one form of short form video. So what is a short form video? Well, TikTok was what made the short form video a reality. It's really what made it take off. It's getting all of the attention, 15 seconds and under. But if you look back at it, really Instagram stories was the original short form content. That's where people started to learn how to make that on Instagram and on Snapchat. So when looking at short form video for your presence, whatever platform makes the most to you, almost all of them have some sort of short form content that you can focus on. If you're on YouTube, there's now YouTube Shorts, which is brand new. There's also YouTube Stories if you have over 10,000 subscribers. LinkedIn now has stories. Instagram has stories. Facebook has stories, which you can translate from Instagram or you can do separate on Facebook. TikTok short form content. I think they're going to add stories in 2021 as well, which if they do later in the year, make sure you come back to this video and hit up the comments below. Tell me I predicted correctly. But then all the new platforms coming out too. Some of the ones you haven't heard about before. MeWe, you got Byte, which is another alternative to TikTok. They all are coming out with short form. They are trying to capture the younger audience. It's going to be huge. Pick one short form content for the presence that you have. It's going to help you gain an extended reach in 2021. Number two, the second content trend that I think is going to happen in 2021 is lives are going to continue to get an extended reach. For all platforms right now, lives are still today underutilized in comparison to other content forms. It comes from the fact that people are still nervous to go live and talk to their audience. They're worried about what they're going to say. They're not quite sure if they can master going off the dome and just being live and in the moment. And that's a problem because you need to be authentic to your audience. That's how you're going to build the audience that you're really looking for that really comes from you, your brand or your product. But all platforms have it now. TikTok, lives are fantastic. Facebook and Instagram have had them for a long time. You also got LinkedIn adding lives now, which you can sign up for and get access to. Look into lives for your content. I don't want to go through this too much more. I know that you guys know it's going to make a difference. And if you can, if you can practice and go off the dome, it's a fantastic way to extend your reach and build the audience you're looking for. Number three, content trends. What I'm going to talk about on this one is equipment is getting crazy. This tip's going to be about the different equipment that's out there right now. As a content creator, as an influencer, you're constantly looking for ways to stand out. And in 2021, that's going to be more important than ever. It's more saturated. More people are coming on and organic reaches are going down. So if you're not building native organic content for a specific platform, you may not stand out. You may not get the reach you're looking for. The three pieces of equipment that have blown my mind this year that I have picked up are the GoPro Hero 9, which a lot of you influencers should have. I use it for a lot of vlogging. I use it as a backup camera. And the hyper smooth stabilization this year is absolutely insane. The other one is the DJI Mini 2. The drone now does 4K. They're still missing a couple features like active track, but it can now create this amazing content. And all it takes in a video is to have one or two drone shots to take your video from here right to here. It just provides a different perspective. You don't need a license in a lot of places because it's under 249 grams. 
So something that's crazy, something you should look into. And finally, the Instant X2. I haven't got mine yet. I still have the Instant X1. It's a 360 camera. You may have seen some content before where you have the mini world where it goes all the way in 360 in a circle. What I like about it is when you're using it is you get a full perspective around you. You can alter your world. You could be viewing one thing and then pan to another. It's really crazy what that camera can do and it could make a difference to your content standing out this year in 2021. I'm going to put links to all three of those items below just so that you guys can take a look at them. This is a good time for me to stop and just say that all the things I'm talking about today are going to be linked in the description below. <sighs> we need new light. All right, back. Where was I? I think links below. So links will be below. All right, tip number four. Watch time is going to be everything and people are going to realize that in 2021. Now, I have talked about this in other episodes. If you guys have seen those other episodes, then you will see in the timestamps below the next chapter. Go ahead and skip to the next one. But if you haven't, this is why watch time makes such a big difference. Social media algorithms are based on keeping people on platform longer. The longer someone stays on an app, the more that that platform can retarget their ads to them and create revenue. Of all the metrics that are on content online, we have found that watch time is by far the most important. For example, on TikTok, any of my TikTok videos that have gone have all been over the watch time of the actual video. If the video was 12 seconds long and I had a 16 or 17 second watch time, that video had a significant chance of succeeding. No other metric correlated in the same way as watch time. So when you take that to other platforms, what you can do to increase watch time, make people stop on your post for longer are these types of things. One make longer text strings, make people click that read more button, make them read and stop and pay attention to what you're talking about. Offer more value in those posts. Have pictures that capture attention that are unique to your niche and to your brand that your audience actually cares about. Make videos that have hooks in them that capture attention and then hold it throughout the video, throughout the full length of the video. And then those other things I talked about above, get the different pieces of equipment. They're going to make your content stand out. I'm going to shoot another video about increasing watch time. If it is out when this video comes out, I'm going to stick it in the cards above. Check it out if you're interested. And finally, number five, the last tip, and this is a pro tip. Content is going to get a little longer and you're going to have to put more time into it in 2021. Let me explain. When you go on specific platforms and you post a video, for example, on Facebook, when you post that video, it says right on the side, and not many people see this, but it gives you what's going to make that video get a further extended organic reach. And on Facebook, it says right there, three minutes or longer. Now, a lot of Facebook content that influencers and people are making is under three minutes long. I think that content's going to get longer. It goes from the last tip where you want to increase your watch time and it's going to take more time to make. The reason is, is right below that. A best practice is to upload things like captions. My best example of this is YouTube. When you have captions, the SEO of your video goes up. You're going to appear in more searches and for more of your tags that you want to appear in. You're going to get a further organic reach. And then things like YouTube where now there's timestamps and chapters, which you guys will see on this video. Another thing that's going to help you appear in more searches and in search engines. All of these other items are designed to make the experience of your audience better. So it makes sense to do them. It also makes sense because the platforms want you to use them. They want that value to go to the audience. They want people to stay on their platform longer. Now, this may seem like a nuisance, though, because now you can't just shoot the video, edit it, and post it with a simple text string. You need to put more time and effort into it. And in 2021, more content creators are going to realize this. They're going to have to put in more time. That means your resources are going to get thinner. That means you have to focus on the audience and the platform that matters the most to you. It's going to help you guys get bigger audiences in 2021, which is what we are all looking for. Guys, that is five tips. I don't want to talk too much more. I want to know how I did in this episode. If you have any tips for me, make sure you put it in the comments below. And if you guys got any value from this video, it means a lot to me that you smash that subscribe button, hit notifications all, and hit that like button. You guys know what to do. That is it for this episode, and I hope to see you guys in the next one, as always. 
That is all for now. One last thing in the N annotations, guys. Let me know. I'm shooting at home right now. I've been doing a couple YouTube videos in my home office. Try to set up some lights. Try to make it look nice. Set up the computer behind me. Try to go to my website. Don't forget the free stuff on my website. It may help you in your digital marketing journey and content creation journey. And yeah, no, I'm rambling now. So that is it. That is all. See you guys in the next episode. That's all for now.